On Sterling this morning, um, lots of reasons to be negative. I guess they haven't changed the soft data, political risk. Got the OECD report on the UK economy coming out later on. Uh, I think it's um, part of the, the trend which has been in place really since the turn of the year that people seem to have um, a whole string of reasons rather than one particular reason to be negative on sterling. Um, they're all, I think, open to question to a degree, uh, but put together it's made sterling onto performance one of the sustained trends of the year and nothing particularly new today to add to that but uh, the looming Bank of England decision, the commentary from Carney tomorrow and uh, keeping all of those factors in focus. Where, so where's cable heading? Um, I think cable probably bottoms out relatively early and m more importantly I think looked at via euro sterling. Uh, we think for various reasons euro sterling is probably forming a top around these levels uh, from both the sterling uh, negative side and the positive side for the euro. So if I wanted to play a, a positive contrarian view on sterling, um, buying it against the euro I think is probably the way I'd do it now. How, how high does euro dollar go now? I think it, it, we probably make highs above the recent highs in the high 130s, but I doubt we'll breach 140. So I think if one looks at what's really driven the rally in the euro and some of the direct measures of the risk premium that have been compressing as the euro has been rallying, in many respects we're reaching natural limits for some of those risk premium. And I think f for that reason alone, we, we probably get into a slightly more two-way market in the high 130s. So um, we think we're in, in the tail end of the, of the rally at these kind of levels. All right, um, and can't let you go without talking about the yen. Should, should we be surprised by this push through 94? Um, no, and I wouldn't fight it at the moment. I, I think if you stand back and look at what it needs in terms of policy easing from the Bank of Japan to justify the move that we've seen in dollar yen, um, it's actually quite hard to make the case for, for it being sustained. But dollar yen, for me at the moment, is all about momentum and the, the, the trend is becoming self-reinforcing. Uh, and to that extent, I don't think you should try and fight it. If there's going to be a watershed, then perhaps at the time at which you get the personnel changes at the BOJ, the market focus may shift a little to delivery of policy rather than just delivery of rhetoric, which is really all we have so far. But at the moment, I, I, I think it's the, the trend is becoming self-feeding and I wouldn't fight it.